this is the Valor Fitness DG1 stationary bench. It's kind of a simple unit. There's no moving parts except for your, your arms and shoulders. Check out the website. We'll show you the footprint dimensions, which gives you the, the depth or the length of the unit this way, the width and the height. There are also some close-up photographs down below that bring you into the unit itself as far as uh, some detailed shots. But it's kind of a simple unit. We did add a, a little feature here. We took the, the back pad itself and gave it a slight three degree tilt backwards. For the reason of when you're sitting down on a 90 degree bench, it's kind of hard to have your back completely against the pad itself for stability. So if you're doing your, let's say military press and you're 90 degrees, that kind of puts some torque and pressure on your shoulders and back to uh, do the, the, the press itself. So a slight tilt backwards allows more of your back itself to be against the pad. Right here for the, uh, the seat part, uh, a slight V-notch. You have the option, and that's more to, I guess, help your your legs and the crotch area to, to broaden it. But you have the option of putting your feet on the foot posts. So 100% of your body is on the bench itself. You can't wobble or tilt over because it's all downward. Or you can spread your feet out as far as let your, your legs itself be stability. We did make the unit a little bit more lower to the ground. So you're guaranteed a firm footing with your feet on the ground itself as you're doing your dumbbell workout or your military press. But let me walk you in closer to give you kind of a close-up shot. Let's bring you right in here. So you have a solid steel bar for the foot base right there. Again, there's the tripod type base unit, so you're guaranteed stability by having uh, kind of a three-point process on the ground. There's a nice shot showing the V-wedge of the seated pad. Back pad right there. A nice built foot base, foot base. Hey, thanks for watching the video on the DG1. I know it's kind of a short video. There's there's no even parts, so it's all it's all on you to make it work. But as far as having a, a stable unit, this is pretty solid.